I want to give you a recommendation for an um, extension for an advanced student. Um, once again, an advanced student would be a middle schooler or high schooler or an upper elementary student who has had um, quite a few years of private music lessons um, in piano or drum, um, drums. Drums will be easier for rhythm, maybe not so much with the soul fetch part of things. So when they're doing the pitch lesson and they're singing and the younger children are going mi, re, do, mi, re, re, do, 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 re, 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 mi, re, do. That's what the younger children might be doing, but what the older child can do is step aside after they've done that with the family a few times, and you can challenge them to do musical dictation, just like we did in the rhythm, example, this time they would be writing down the notes. So if they've been playing piano for six years, they can imagine that piano keyboard in their mind and they can be hearing those notes and it's stepping down, right? Mi, re, do. And you can give them a starting pitch. In this book, the 150 American Folk Songs, when you look at that, it's actually written in the key of G. So G is your ending note, and um, it starts on a B. But they also, as you see up at the top, sorry, it says con comfortable starting pitch A. So you're actually possibly singing it um, starting on an A instead. So you can make your choice. An older child might understand that um, if they've been doing piano for a while that you can transpose a song to different keys. So it's written in the book in the key of G. So Mi, Re, Do is B, A, G. It's stepping down. Um, if you start on an A and you want to tell them that their starting pitch is A, then they could write, they would be writing down A, then a G, and then an F. So then in that case, it's in the key of F um, because F is the ending note of the song. And usually a song ends on the note um, that it's in the key of that, that um, key. So here's how I would have you do this with the student who's um, doing dictation. And I'll turn this page around. But while they're singing, the older child can be off to the side of the room listening and I'm going to just do it exactly the way it is in the book. You could show them this the first week and then maybe they try it on the next song. But here we go. So mi, re, do. And they might not get all the rests and that kind of stuff. They might not get the rests. They might not get the um, measure bar, the measure line here. But the initially, the idea is figure out what the notes are doing. They're moving down by step. So then we would go on mi, re, do, 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 re, 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 mi, re, do. So as you see here, I've simplified it. I've left out the, the rhythm. And I've just written little dots on the staff. When I was in college and I had to do my dictation tests, this is what I did at first. I would either pick the, the melody or I would pick the rhythm. And I would try to focus my ear in on one of those things. And I would take notes as I was doing this listening. And sometimes I had to listen multiple times. So here, I was including the rhythm. Um, the, the rhythmic notation. But here, I'm just writing B, A, G, 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 A, 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 B, A, G. And you can buy lined staff paper like this, so it would be much smaller. And um, you can order it from Amazon for pretty cheap or at a music store. It's called musical staff paper, I think. And so you can get something like this and then have the older child, particularly a high school child who's been taking lessons for a long time, should be able to start challenging themselves with this. Um, and these American folk songs are very simple. And so they're the perfect um, 
start to this sort of musical dictation. And that will help lead them to being able to hopefully write their own music someday. So I challenge um, the older students to do this. And, you know, if they want to watch this video and see what I'm doing here and try to figure that out themselves, um, Mason encourages uh, self-education. So show them this video and let them challenge themselves to figure this out. Thanks.